SRO Magazine, your number one source for music and entertainment news and interviews. Hi, this is Alicia Williams from SRO Magazine, speaking with Jamie St. James. How are you? I'm, I'm fabulous. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Just hanging in there, watching it storm. <laughs> Hoping the power doesn't go off. Uh, it's 95 degrees here in Los Angeles. I'm at home and hanging out. You'll probably hear some dogs barking back now. It's all good. Nice. So how's everything going? Excellent. Busy guy, but uh, that's the way I like it. Gotta stay busy. Yeah, otherwise, you know, you get in trouble. <laughs> exactly. So, you are the singer for Black and Blue, correct? Well, and still am. And still am, that's right. You started off playing drums, though, right? I did. Well, yeah, I, if you go back far enough, I actually started playing guitar, but I, I just realized it was going to take me a long time. I never learned that, so I uh, jumped off the drums and it was kind of pounding away. There was a little bit of a shooting from me, so uh, yeah, I was a drummer all the way up, actually, until Black and Blue. Ah, okay. What, which one do you prefer? Which, what? I like singing, but uh, you know, I, I learned how to play guitar so I can write songs, basically. I, I very rarely play on stage. But I, uh, you know, I was, well, playing drums is fun, but, I don't know, the older I get, I'm glad I'm not, I'm glad I'm not doing drums anymore, it's pretty hard on your body, but, oh, I'm guaranteed. Oh, no doubt. Uh, but it, I, 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 I love, it's just stuff about singing that I love, you know, that's what I chose. That was black and blue started, and I was thinking with it. What, stick with what works, right? <laughs> exactly. So you met Tommy, your bandmate that was um, in Black and Blue in high school, right? Well, we were uh, we weren't we didn't go to the same high school. We went to separate high schools, but I think the same the same story is it is true. We were both played in a marching band in our high school. We played saxophone, and I played drum, and we just kind of saw each other at this like competition thing. We were, but we were from different high schools, so. We kind of knew each other. I can't remember if we talked or not. I mean, we did not think it was so long ago. But I do remember acknowledging him in some way. I think we just kind of waved each other because we had the same kind of hair. Uh -huh. Kind of rare. <laughs> that setting. So, you know, and then uh, really short, shortly after that, he ended up coming down and auditioning for the band that I was in. And I went, hey, that's that guy. So, and, and we also would see each other at concerts. Right. So, I mean, we've known each other since we were 17 years old. And you all played in a Kiss tribute band together, right? We did. Uh, let's see, who did he play again? Oh, yeah, he did Ace. Ace. And, uh, yeah. I did. I was Peter Chris. I was doing the job. And uh, it was a blast, actually. It was a lot of fun. We were really good. And it was back in the, in the days where there wasn't very many, uh, very many tribute bands, period. There may have been a couple of kids tribute bands in the world and not much else. I think Atomic Punk may have been there around back then, that early on. Other than that, it wasn't like every other band was a tribute band. So it was rare, and we did it really well. We had the costumes down perfectly. You know, we even had the same guy that made it and put it in our booth. It was pretty, pretty hardcore. So we were doing it. How, how was it different when he actually left to play with Kiss? Like, do you, yeah, it's weird. Is it weird? <laughs> I mean, do you, you know, it's weird that all, I mean, he's, look, I know the Tommy's been playing those days with all his life, so he doesn't really well. And, uh, it's just kind of funny how he's ended up now in the band, but, uh, you know, it doesn't surprise me at all because he does a great job. Well, that's great. So you are still pretty close, and do you still get the same, uh, amount of, like, fan base and everything as you did before? I mean, has any of that changed? For Tommy? That for you, for like the black and blue? No, for black and blue, I think it's pretty much, you know, I mean, look, people know that, hey, there's the guy from, the guy from Kiss used to be in black and blue, that's kind of a, you know? Oh, no doubt. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so it's kind of like, 
our name gets thrown around for that reason. But we we still have to do it. Actually, I think we have a, a certain amount of fans that we're getting. We've got more fans than we had, say, like in the 90s or something like that, or even yeah, 10 years ago, just because of satellite radio, cable radio, and, you know, all those stations, those carinates, you know, hair, hair guitars, those Jamala, those that jazz, they play the heck out of it. So it's kind of a good thing. It kind of helps us out a little bit. Nice. Well, people are finally starting to recognize good music again. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we think got these specialty stations they can tune into and say, yeah, you know, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's kind of a cool thing that keeps it, helps keep it alive. But we're, we're playing a little more shows than we, than we used to, and we're, we're, the band is, like, really strong. We have uh, Sean Sunshine replaced Tommy Bear about 12 years ago. It's been in the band a long time. And our, we have another new guitarist who replaced Jeff Warner, unfortunately, who you know, just uh, had to quit for health reasons. And so, basically, it is Brandon Cook. And those two really bring a lot to the band. And the rest of the band is still original. Pete Holmes, Dr. Drums, Patrick Young, on bass, and me. Nice. You guys are playing at Rock and Skull, is that right? And the what? At the Rock and Skull 2014. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Skull Fest, Yeah, you looking forward to that? Yeah, I am. We're actually, uh, we just got back from Minnesota. We played a show in Minnesota last uh, Saturday night. went down well. Great, a lot of fun. We're going to play something called Firefest in Nottingham, England. Um, next, then, yeah, we're doing Skull Fest. We're doing this, this, you know, sort of shows. We don't play a lot. We play the cool ones. So nice. And you're also a member of the Hard Rock All Stars? Well, yeah, and that, that band is kind of on hold, not doing too much. Uh, as soon as Juan Crucier rejoined Rat, uh -huh. we kind of put a damper on it, and we didn't really have a guitarist, so we kind of went through a few different guitarists, and uh, so it all kind of, eh, it's on hold, it, it, you know, it may. If we need to start up again, it basically, eh, we're letting Juan do his thing, but I now know who knows what's going on with Rap at the moment, so it's kind of disjointed, it's whole deal. But I, I have another project called Let It Rock, and uh, that is like a, a, it was all, started out to be like a Vegas review, tribute to the 80s, you know, Sunset Strip, uh -huh. but it's kind of turning into more than that. It is me on vocals. Stacey Blades from L.A. Guns on guitar, Oz Fox from Striper on guitar, Eric Brittingham from Cinderella on bass, and a guy named Scott Coogan on drums, who was with Ace Freely, and, um, but uh, he was with the Nicky Six Band, one of the Nicky Six Band. <laughs> oh, wow. That sounds pretty. <laughs> it sounds, yeah, it, it sounds good. It, it, it's a great band, and uh, we are, I'm just, uh, heading to Vegas tomorrow to a couple of days of rehearsals, and then we're playing our debut Los Angeles show, and then we're playing uh, Vegas, and then we're going to be touring around. We're going to be playing shows this summer, and we just released an original song that we wrote uh, called American Rebels, and that's on iTunes and Amazon right now. You can download it, you know, it's the one or two shot, you know, 99 cents for me, but it's a great tune, and it shows what we are, so, and then we play... You know, assorted 80s stuff, not just from our own bands, from like Cinderella or Black and Blue or Ellie Guns and that kind of thing, but we also, you know, throw other stuff in the bench, some Doc and some, you know, just some assorted songs. And we have a couple of original songs, but it started out as kind of like a Vegas review, so people would just come and we have a residency in a room. So you come every weekend and see us, but it's kind of taken on a different thing, and now we're going to be bringing out some casinos and, you know, the street fairs and different places out in, out in the country. Oh, that's great. I look forward to hearing it. So you just you have the one song available so far? Yeah, it's we're called Let It Rock and it's on you can get it on uh, iTunes, you know, Amazon, uh, it's called American Rebel and it's killer. I guarantee it. With a lineup like that <laughs> you wouldn't expect anything less. So are you working on an album? Are you getting an, Are you working on getting an album out? Well, we, we, the people were trying to offer us a record deal, and I kind of, I, I kind of spearheaded the idea of turning it down because I was really just, 
bypass record companies right now and just put stuff straight onto, you know, where, where people can download it and we don't need to pay the record company anything. We can, we can afford to take ourselves to the studio and, and pay for ourselves. So, we're just, you know, so rather than doing a full album, we're just doing a song at a time, but you never know. We may end up putting up together a, the whole record, but we just want to get something out there right away to, to get things started. So, that's uh, pretty much where we're at with that. It's, uh, it's, it's just getting started, so we'll see what happens. Well, that's cool. And a song at a time kind of builds up anticipation, too. So that's kind well, of... Well, maybe so, you know. We'll just give, give a little taste and see what it is and see what happens, you know. But we, we, meanwhile, we really have to, you know, we haven't started playing yet, but we do have like that about, you know, 12, 15 shows booked over the summer to go out and play. So we'll go out and uh, we'll go out there and give it a, give it a shot. It's going to be fun. And, and it's good, you know, you five guys that all got together that they can get great musicians and great players together and have kind of a weird chemistry. Uh-huh. The band has an insanely great chemistry. We just got together and it just felt right. It was really, really something else. So. Well, I would download it and check it out. Yeah. It definitely sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Is there anything else you have coming up that you're looking forward to or are you just ready to, to get out there and Play some music. Pretty much, the, I mean, that's pretty much the main thing happening right now. We got the black and blue shows here and there. I got the leather rock stuff going on. We got the new single American Rebels that just came out. Um, that's that's enough right now. You know, it's a, it's that's a lot. It's a, it's gonna be a, <laughs> a good, a good summer. Sounds good. And where can people go to to like? I mean, is there a specific website that you can go to to find out all the information or? You can, well, Facebook, I know you can always get us. we got a Black and Blue official on Facebook. we got a Let It Rock Facebook. And there are some websites. You go to jamiestainjames.com, but that doesn't give you too much blood holder information pretty much. I think you go to, there's a Black and Blue official.com website. Uh, you know, there's, there's a Black and Blue uh, Facebook. It's uh, pretty well run. It pretty much keeps up to date with everything. Um, you know, but Black and Blue is celebrating... It's, a 30-year anniversary of the first record. It came out in 1984. So when we do play out live, we do a, kind of a tribute to the, new, to, the, to the first record at the end of the night. We play like seven songs off it or something like that. Bam, bam. It's, uh, that's a cool, exciting thing going on this year. Yes, um, congratulations. Yeah. yeah, thank you. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Who knew? It's 30 years, and we're still out there playing. So. That's a long time. A lot of people don't stay together that long. That's for sure, and uh, you know, I mean, I, I think that it's you know when we're having we're still having a lot of fun, and as long as we're still having fun, then why not? You know, and then what I, I mean personally, as long as I can still sing the songs, give it a damn, man. Yeah, you know, there's sing them. It's a, you can still do it, so why not? Why not do it? It's, and it's, and it's, I still have the the drive to do it. So you know, it's a, it's all worth it, you know. And, and even in Let It Rock, we do like a couple black and blue songs, and uh, you know, which we should. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Well, it sounds good, and I look forward to all of it. And thank you for taking the time to talk to me. You're very welcome. And uh, keep, keep, keep your head down in the storm. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> it's a little freaky, and I normally like them. <laughs> <laughs> but I would definitely download the song, and, and we'll... We wish you the best, and I'll keep in touch. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. And good luck tomorrow on your drive. (laughs) (laughs) All good, man. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much for the the interview. Thank you so much. All right. right, Bye-bye.